So there's test optional and there's test blind, right? Test optional is you, you're not required to submit scores. But of course, if you do submit a score and it's a strong score, then that's going to give you an advantage. Um, the test blind is, excuse me, we're not even going to look at the scores, right? And so uh, for this, for the class of 2021, uh, rising seniors, um, many schools have gone test optional. Some schools have gone test blind, but the vast majority of schools are either still requiring the SAT or ACT or it, it's test optional, where it's yeah. still going to give you an advantage. In addition, some schools that have gone test optional or even, or even test blind have very explicitly stated that to qualify for certain scholarships, you need to submit an SAT or ACT score, right? So you, you may not need the score to gain admission, but you need the score to qualify for certain scholarships. And then of course, for student athletes, there are still the NCAA requirements, yeah. which I like to look at that as a positive because if you have a lower GPA, by scoring higher on the SAT or ACT, you can make up for that lower GPA and become eligible to compete. So, um, and, and I mean, not to, not to get too long-winded, but there's also um, course placement. So if you score high enough on the SAT or ACT, then you can place out of some of those remedial courses. We hear stories all the time where a student goes to college but then on placement tests, scores low and has to take remedial classes. Unfortunately, in a lot of cases, even if it's a full scholarship student, the family still has to pay out of pocket for those remedial yeah. courses. Just kind yeah. of the reasons why the SAT and ACT are still important.